Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to export your videos in high quality in Premiere Pro. Hey what's up guys, my name is Tyler White and here on this channel I teach video editing tutorials and I also have a background of about 8 years of editing video, so if you're new here, consider subscribing and become a part of the team today. Also, while you're at it, make sure you hit that bell notification so that you get notified and you don't miss out on any videos that we post anytime ever. Woo! So once we have Premiere open up, the first thing we want to do is go up to File, New, Sequence. Then what we're going to do is click on Digital SLR, we'll go down to 1080p, and then we'll select 1080p 24 because our footage was shot in 24 frames per second. That's what we're going to select for our timeline. If yours is different, then you need to change yours to whatever frame rate that it is. For mine, it's just 24. So I'll press OK. And then once the sequence has been created, I'm going to go over to my footage. I'm going to drag it down into the timeline. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's just say that I'm done editing all my clips. And this is what my finished product looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the beginning of the clip, press I for in. And then I'm going to go scroll down to the end of the clip and then press O for out. Within this space here, that's what you're going to export from Premiere Pro. So next, I'm going to go up to File, Export, Media. All right, now we're going to get into the meat and potato of what our export settings are supposed to be. So first thing we need to do is select our format, H.264. And then our preset, we can just go ahead and change the custom because it's going to, we're going to be making a lot of changes here. We'll go down to Output Name. This is just going to be what you want to name your footage. So name mine and where you want to save it at I'll just name mine that and then want to make sure that export video and export audio is checked because if you don't check both of them you're gonna export your your footage without video or it's gonna be without audio so just make sure that you check both next we're gonna scroll down scroll past scroll all the way down here to profile we're gonna uncheck and level uncheck we're gonna change our profile to high and then we're gonna change our level to 4.2 once we've done that, we're going to make sure that our width is 1920 and our height is 1080. Frame rate should be 23.976 because that matches our footage. Field order should be progressive and aspect is square pixels 1.0 that's fine. We want to make sure that we have checked render at maximum depth just to have the best possible quality. Scroll down a little bit. Alright, so our bitrate settings. This is what's going to change our file size the most. So down here, VBR one pass. This is what I've used before in the past. By all means, if you want to use this, you can. But this is going to be our lower end quality, but it still doesn't look that bad. So VBR one pass, and our target bit rate is going to be at 10. If you want the best, highest quality that you can get, you're going to change your bit rate encoding over to CBR, and then our target bit rate is going to be 40. That's going to create a very, as you can see, 61 megabytes. That's going to create a very large file size. But if that's what you like, and if this is for a client or something like that, by all means, I recommend having the highest target bit rate possible. So and if you're in the middle, if you're looking for good quality, but you're not looking for a super huge file size, our target bit rate needs to be 15. And then we'll change our maximum bit rate. We'll just keep it at 40. All right, and you see that brought that down to 23 megabytes. So that's usually what I use just for regular YouTube videos. But if I'm looking for that extra high quality video, I'm always going to go to that CBR. And that's going to be for your, the max max quality. So we'll scroll down to advanced settings. We can leave that keyframe distance unchecked, VR video unchecked because it's not a VR video. And then we can go down here to where it says use maximum render quality. We want to make sure that is checked. And then we're good for video. What we want to do next is go over to audio. We want to make sure our audio format is AAC. Our audio codec AAC as well. Sample bit rate should be 48 hertz. Channels should be stereo. Audio quality should always be high. Bit rate should be 320. And then we should our uh, precedent should be bit rate. And then what we can do next, is we'll go up here, we'll go to save preset, and we can just title this. Hit OK. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click export. Were these tips helpful? Yes? No? Let me know in the comments below. Some of the best tips and conversation is happening in the comments section. So definitely engage down there and be a part of this community. Also, down in the description, 
check out my video export checklist. It's a step-by-step -step process on how to export your videos, and it's something that you can use to reference even after this video. Okay, that's going to do it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, slap a like on it because that lets me know that these videos are helpful. And don't forget to subscribe because we got more videos like this coming soon. Also, let me know in the comments what future videos you want to see. Thank you guys so much again. Keep killing in your videos, and I'll see you soon. The kind of guy you chill while others hurt me. I didn't know that I've been the fool. I've been telling lies about something real, but I know love is based on.